The NFL season is back and underway, and the action is always heating up on the field at the DraftKings Sportsbook. But the big bet this time around, touchdowns. And touchdowns matter more at the DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the NFL. All new customers, now is your chance to get in all the football action. New customers bet just 5 bucks to get $200 in bonus bets instantly. So score big with DraftKings Sportsbook, the number one place to bet touchdowns. Download the app today and use code CLUB520. That's right, code CLUB520 for new customers to get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just 5 bucks. All the on DraftKings. The crown is yours. Subscribe to our YouTube, CLUB520. Uh, we clowning on that mother. Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, man, we back. Another wonderful episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. Special, special guest to my left, man. We're going to introduce my man's last to my far left. We got my dog, Bishop B. Hen out the Pearlies. How you what, Nasty? Cool and nasty. Let's get to it, baby. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I know, you know what I'm saying? You know what you really normally be on, but you got the, the Adidas on for, for EJ today? Yeah, Adidas athlete. <laughs> Did this for Nasty. This one for you. <laughs> <laughs> and the other time we got them, them villain shoes on over there so I'm happy to show respect to our guest one time to my right my dog Young Nacho Young T how you what man I'm chilling bro another 07 graduate in the building so it's about to be a good pod for sure for sure man like you said another 07 class listen man we got a legend in the building Indiana legend anytime you talk about high school basketball you better mention his name right here, man. We got EJ Eric Gordon, 17 year NBA vet in the building. Appreciate you, big dog, sliding through, man. Oh, no doubt, man. It's been a long time coming. I should have been here a long time ago, but it's it's good that I'm here now. You've been busy getting money, man. We understand. You still <laughs> <laughs> no. busy getting to it. We understand your schedule a little bit different nine months out of the year. Yeah, but listen, man, we got to take it back. Y'all, origin of basketball, playing at each other. You know what I'm saying? 89% Indiana, one of the best places to play basketball. And we always talk about who was cold growing up, and no nobody ever goes against it. Everybody knows since Lissa, you was the coldest, bro. How yeah. was that growing up with them type of expectations, bro? Well, I mean, it was different because, you know, I've been playing against Jeff since, mm -hmm. I would say, what would you say, about eight since eight years old yeah, or something yeah, at Municipal sure. Gardens. And, uh, Shout out to the gardens. Uh, the funniest thing is, growing up from elementary school and middle school, I was always the shortest kid out there. Like, I was the smallest, I was the shortest, but uh, I always had, you know, I mean, my game was there, but I was just the shortest person known out there. And then as I reached around, you know, eighth grade, I mean, I I was damn near built like a grown man at a young age. And, <laughs> and in seventh grade, I mean, I barely even played because I was growing so much and, you know, a lot of motherfuckers thought I was on steroids or whatever, but <laughs> I, I did I did get a- uh, I, I was one of the motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, that was a real question. You, you on your origin, you know, but EJ, we thought you was on that shit. <laughs> you was on that shit. I, mean, I grew a lot, and but uh, and then going into high school, mm -hmm. I was able to really uh, propel and be myself. Now, I ain't trying to throw your, you know, your folks' address out, but did you always live that close to the JCC? Majority of my life, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah uh, majority. Shout out to the JCC Loop, yeah, Elite stable. Hoop Sessions in that's the city, for sure. Your daddy still fucking with it over there? Still, oh, yeah, yeah, he's still over there. there you know, go. Still. Shout out to Pops, man. Yeah, yeah, love sure. seeing Pops out, man, especially what y'all doing with the program with the kids, man. I love seeing him at the tournaments, man. He be holding it down for real. Nah, yeah. facts. Like, EJ was the first dude when we was little, I seen him hit a left-hand layup. <laughs> <laughs> nah, besides Reese, you know, Reese was left-handed, but... Eric went to the basket and he switched to the left. I think he's like third grade, second, third grade. And my pops was like, now that's a player. <laughs> you know how my pops is. He always go big somebody else. So yeah. I was I was at home pissed trying to shoot a left hand left. Still can't shoot one to this day. Fuck it. It's cool though. He went, ah. See, he cold. Bitch. Did your pop start you off with the fundamentals first though? He for, for sure did. That was the number one thing. And uh, shooting was number one. Handles was second. And... Uh, I mean, he made it, he kept it very simple for, for me. I mean, he was hard on me, like, he yeah. was hard on me. Because oh, yeah. right. to be honest, he really made me hate everybody I played against when I was in high school. So <laughs> let me tell you, so I'll put it like this. I knew he was going to play Pike first game, and, you know. Fuck him. On that Monday, <laughs> on that Monday, my dad would be like, hey, Jeff, Jeff, he going to be ready to go. What the hell are you going to do? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> you already know he's got the handles. You know he's got a jump shot. I mean, what you going to do? Because half the time you you might guard him. You might not. 
But what you gonna bring yeah. to the table? And he did that every week, just pest me on and pest me on. Like in Chicago, he eat Twan Moore, you know. What are you gonna do against him? Like <laughs> he made me really hate every one of y'all before the week. I know you now even all talk. makes sense because you killed everybody. <laughs> that nigga won't even talk to us, man. I'm like, what's up, boy? You good? I'm like, damn, well, fuck you. He won't say nothing. <laughs> he, still, he still won't say nothing. He just kill you. After a while, I'm like, well, this one fight say shit to him, man. I don't know what the fuck wrong with him. He a robot. <laughs> yeah. So your dad put that killer instinct in you, basically. For sure. I mean, for That's sure. Why, like, he never, he didn't believe in bad games. He didn't believe. He said, you just figure out a way. You know, he always wanted me to score and always wanted me to win. But uh, I'm telling you, when he, when well, we was going against a, uh, in a big game. Right. Whoever their best player best player was, I mean, he just wanted me to go go after him, and uh, so it's just uh, that's that's definitely part of the story. And because uh, right, you know, we had, I was going against a lot of good players. Oh, right, we talk was, about all the time. You, uh, Michael Conley, Greg Golden, Josh Mick was Roberts, crazy. Yeah. The list goes on for real. Them, of course, Pike and them. Shit, did you ever play? Uh, but shit, Walter was hyped back then. Yeah, Warren yeah. was hyped a little too. bit. I mean, see, what well, we even played against uh, Gordon Hayward and Emma yeah. Brownsburg. We yeah. traveled, and I mean, we traveled. I mean, we were traveling everywhere. Back you play, he played Broad yeah. Ripple too. So yeah, I yeah, was. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was he on the court? He, he started laughing. Hold was on, he man, on the court? I, did, I did play. <laughs> <laughs> I know that switch was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, fucking auto said to pick on me so hard, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> this nigga power dribbling up the court and shit full speed. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Before we get to the high school stuff, though, you, you was a part of one of the best AU teams ever, man. We talk about it all the time. How was that, like, playing that experience with that crazy ass team? Did y'all know y'all was that good at the time? No, we knew that. We, we knew that. Uh, you talking about Speed Sandy Heat? Absolutely. Yeah, no, we we knew that we were that good because we we were bought in. We weren't trying to be like most people, most kids out there trying to score 30, 40, 50 points. Mm -hmm. I mean, the average, I would say, if, the high score of that game probably would have had 18, 16, and everybody shared the ball. Everybody would, and we won every game. Like <laughs> every game that we when we were all healthy, we won every game. So, yeah. but uh, I think in three summers we only lost probably two, three games. Yeah, they. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was I was whooping shit. You ever remember one of your toughest matchups back then? Because was you on there when they there played was, Lou? Uh, when y'all played Lou Will? Lou Williams was a major problem. I've never seen. Too many guys like him in high school. Yeah. I mean. I remember that drug game with y'all in the Georgia he Stars. NBA, White. He had an NBA game in high school. Like, he played like how he is, but imagine way more athletic. And Lou Will would dunk on you in high school, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, there was, he he was. Nah, Lou was a problem. Yeah, he was a major <laughs> Shout problem. Shout out to my dog. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Lou, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Like, what he was doing in the NBA, I mean, he, in high school, I mean, it was just with more athleticism. But that's what I tell people about you. Like when we got to when we got when you got to the league and shit, everybody was like, man, I'm like, man, y'all should have seen how athletic he was in high school. I'm like, I'm gonna dunk from the free throw line, all type of crazy shit. Like, and people know you as a shooter. I'm like, he was shooting like that, but that motherfucker used to dunk on everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I I did early on in my career before I had those injuries and, yeah. during my time in New Orleans. But yeah, I would. Nah, I know. We, <laughs> I, know. I, I remember Tommy Freeman. Shout out to Tommy. <laughs> Get uh, uh, we ain't gonna do the uh, time. I T remember. T hey. T hey. <laughs> we here now. We know you was on Speed City Heat, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He finished out your career with a different team. And Tommy was the reason he got dunked on. It was if he crossed me in half court. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Fuck fuck, fuck. Yeah, he said Tommy. <laughs> and I remember that game too because I felt like there was some calls getting missed, mm. and we, was we were pissed ass. off. <laughs> yeah, y'all were up, and we were pissed off. And then, and that that's shit. It. No, I, I just. That's when I said, yeah, he the best player in the country. It was between you and Bees because Bees did us bad. And then we was beating y'all. Then you went off at like 35 in the second half. I'm like, this motherfucker here is crazy, man. Damn. <laughs> like, and I'm, everybody like, he was supposed to play with y'all. I said, yeah, man. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how you just go lead the year I come? What the fuck? Yeah. Nah, y'all was cold. Yeah, it's crazy. Like you said, man, shout out to the class. I was 70. D. Rose is retiring. Yo, former AU. Back. How is that, you know what I'm saying? Like that experience, like, because you went from that great ass beast team to like y'all going crazy. 
that was different. Yeah, for sure. Because uh, throughout the high school, man, I wouldn't say we were en- enemies, but we always played against one another, and uh, we always and then we played against each other in a, in a regular high school game, mm-hmm. and so uh, and then we was like, you know, I didn't like Indiana Leap at the time, and mm-hmm. then I was like, you know what? Let's just join forces, and they were like, for sure, let's just make <laughs> that happen, and. Uh, I mean, I had a that, that team was fun, man. But we only had six, seven players. Yeah, they did, y'all they, didn't need nobody else. They ain't yeah. had no real big man. I mean, Tim was a big man, but he was like six four. He was six four and <laughs> could do everything. Yeah, the rim, man. He was, but like, yeah, he was a dog for sure. Was you already um, committed to Illinois before you went to Main Streets? Yeah, mm. I was committed during my time at Main Streets. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, then I remember happened? that being. <laughs> you know, we, we always do like a little moment of silence <laughs> for certain shit. Give, so, give, give us some yeah, so I, yeah. No, for real. I mean, me and D. Rose, who's supposed to go to the same college? Well, we, we that know. was the plan. You know, yeah. it was either Illinois, maybe IU, maybe Memphis, and uh, you know, you know, we heard a lot of things in Illinois. What was going on there? This mm-hmm. and that, and uh, but. My heart was always in Indiana. I always wanted to play at IU. Always, so. Uh, but you know, it all worked out at the end. I went to IU. He went to Memphis. But For sure, I thought I thought we were both gonna go to IU at, at one point. Damn, that's crazy. It's crazy. They tried to put us in a three guard line. I remember Coach Sampson called me, and he was like, "I'm getting you. I'm getting Derrick Rose and Eric Gordon." I said, "Why the fuck you think I'm going there?" <laughs> <laughs> like, you can hang this call up. I'm going to bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Wait for us here. I come. I was like, no way. He called me. I was like, Eric going to Illinois. He was like, not on my fucking watch. <laughs> <laughs> he literally said that. I was like, not on my fucking watch. He was like, not on my fucking watch. He literally said that. Go, my watch. Shout out to the realist. He won't be going there on my watch. You watch. I, I promise you that, T. I promise you. Y'all not getting out of Indiana. I said, man, I'm not going. I told my dad, I'm not going there. So I knew it was automatic number one, like out the gate. Yeah, I did. I mean, you yeah, always loved uh IU growing up, but Okay. And uh because I know I wasn't gonna go far. I wanted my parents and I wanted my family to go to every game. So okay. that uh-huh. was that was the main thing. Yeah. For sure. I mean, before we get to the college though, we gotta talk about one of the most historic high school basketball games of all time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What you did to the Jordan kids at North Central, bro, was very disrespectful, but still one of the best things ever. But please recap that, because like you said, you going to these games hating everybody. Pops put the battery on your back, because what you did to them, bro, that looked personal, bro. Before you start, I just want to say big shout out to uh, Marcus Jordan. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> If Marcus would have had what he had this summer then, they might have won. <laughs> you feel me? The real MJ. Go ahead. You know, you know, I didn't know anything about Loyola Academy, but, mm-hmm. you know, first thing that came to my mind, you know, a Chicago school. You know, I thought, you know. But then when we when I watched them on film and I was like, you know, everything's evolved around the Jordan kids. Like, they're the best players on the team and – uh and their team was small. And I was like, okay, every time when I get the ball, if if I don't have a catch and shoot, I'm going down, the, I'm taking it to the rack like every time or I'm going to at least try to dunk. But the main thing, what I really wanted was to do one of Jordan's dunks in, in game. <laughs> he disrespectful, <laughs> bro. ESPN, baby. <laughs> he did, he right. <laughs> He's so disrespectful. <laughs> With Jordan in the crowd. <laughs> what was that, a 50 piece? What you have on? Uh, I think it was close. Boy, I don't know the exact number. Bro, I was watching that shit, crying, laughing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> then they had the Eric Gordy jerseys. I'm like, oh, they wild. Yeah, they was wild. Nah. Eric Gordon was insane. <laughs> yeah, I said like, they wild. I was like, this is this is dope though. <laughs> It well, may it may be feel good being from Indianapolis though. Like, hell yeah. yeah. Like you said, like you look at them teams. It was like, okay, y'all come with Chicago, but what I deal with on a daily basis is people who's going D one or to the NBA. Mm-hmm. Like y'all like, yeah. Fact. Yeah, for sure. Like almost everybody on and whoever went to the uh, school in, in each conference, they one player went, went to, to the NBA. league. Yeah, like, somebody went, which is crazy. Because we yeah. was trying to tell Norris. Norris was just on, you know, shout out to Norris, but Indiana was just different in them times, bro. Them yeah, years, it was but. crazy. And when you didn't have to leave the city, like we just talking about the Mick, we didn't even go to the region where you had, like you said, Etwan, Robbie Hummel, Scott Martin's, like all the, like everywhere in the state, it was killers at. 
And it was crazy. Like for me, I went to JEL, so I was at Pike Indoor Central half a day to see the reception that like y'all got because y'all was cold. Obviously, mm -hmm. you was that nigga. And it was just like, we ain't had that much school spirit. Yeah. At North yeah. Central? Yeah. Oh, niggas had the Air Gordon T. They had, he had merch, boy. If it was NIL back there, <laughs> bro, you would have been a millionaire at North Central. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. North Central, I, I loved my time there. I mean, some of the best days of my life was there, so. What the fuck, Pike? <laughs> You can change it now, coach. There yeah, wasn't no air <laughs> No 44 merch. I ain't getting no merch. The 44 merch is crazy. I ain't had none of that. I don't think we had a pep rally. We ain't even have a real student section for it. Nah, for real. Yeah, we ain't gonna let y'all do pop. I was like talking that. crazy, though. Y'all oh, we, was talking crazy, we though. We talk shit. <laughs> let, let's talk about that. That, that, that senior year, match up beginning of the year. It was a, a, always a common thing, mm -hmm. tradition. Pike played North Central first game of the year. Mm -hmm. Y'all senior years, you know what I'm saying? You was going away, you going to IU. That's another legendary high school game, man. Wow, that was how cool. was that from your side? I mean, he talked about how he walked into it. But like, what was your mindset going into that? Uh, I was always underrated. So I, I knew he was the number one player almost in the country. I was like 100 or something. So I was just trying to let people know I could hoop. I was mm -hmm. just trying to go out there and have a good show. But we used to beat them all the time yep. before. So I knew he was like, yeah, it's my time to beat they ass. Like, I was like, oh, he's going to come in here on some shit. I ain't really got reinforcements like I used to have. <laughs> you know, we used to, to be loaded. <laughs> we used to be loaded. So I'm like, yeah. it's just me and my guy Phil. Kyle ain't never played varsity. Yeah. Fuck it, I'm about to shoot this motherfucker. <laughs> so we was having back and forth. And at the end of the game, he... He did what he had to do. Yeah. You killed though, bro. I'm nah, he, it was like nah, thirty to thirty three point wise, something like that. Something like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. No, nah, he, no, nah, you did get it going, and uh, I just knew like he would always be up there. Like he's always gonna have a good game. Like I, I, I knew a lot of those things, and because uh, because uh, if if he does well, Pike does well. You know, even though they got other guys that can do some things, because y'all still had Cordell Pasley. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, Kyle and Phil and uh, um, yeah, big so, yeah, Dennis. Yeah, Dennis. Big yeah, Dennis. Y'all had Big Otto though, bro. Mm -hmm. Otto was a motherfucking problem back in the nah, day, bro. Play. And then y'all had uh, Gant coach there now. Yeah. yeah, we didn't know him. Kevin Gant. He came a senior. We I didn't even know he could hoop. He came out hooping. I'm like, what the fuck is this little dude? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> we just talk. We just game planning for you and your brother and Otto. And that was it. Like we was like everybody else. Fuck him. <laughs> you gotta stop him. <laughs> but then this little dude came out there hooping. I was like, damn. But nah, it was a good game. For sure. Classic game, for sure. Like you said, you know what I'm saying? You go to IU. Yeah, I had a hell of a, you had a hell of a freshman year, man. I had a solid ass squad. How was that step, like playing at that level? Cause you know what I'm saying? Playing at Simply Hall was different. No, nah, it was different. I mean, no, nah, we had it rocking and uh, we just went through so much adversity throughout that whole, you know, freshman year. Cause we were talented as hell. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, every practice, you know, every to every game. I mean, you play against good teams, and I mean, we just had a whip, you know, DJ White. And yes, you sir. Had Jordan Crawford coming off the bench. You had Armand. Armand Bassett. Yes, sir. Yeah, and you had a uh, uh, <clears throat> Jamarcus Ellis tone. Jamarcus uh, Ellis. Rest in peace. Rest in peace for him. Yes, sir. Um, and we had, you know, Lance Stem. I mean, we just had a yeah. lot of guys. I, I, you know, I can name the whole team easily, but we just had, we did have a squad. Hell yeah. And, uh, uh, I just hate it. I would love to see how far we could have went if they didn't fire Samson. That's that was the thing. Yep. It's coming down to the wire and the W. We're in the final month of WNBA season, and you got the postseason too. And if you're trying to get tickets, you already know I'm using the Game Time app. Elite views from your seat and the lowest price guarantee. Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. And the best part is, it's not just basketball. You can get yourself some tickets to comedy shows, concerts, and any big event. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use promo code CLUB520 for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code Club 520, C L U B 520 for $20 off. That long game top app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. That's crazy. Would you, um, I mean, obviously, we didn't think he was going back, but like that play out, like you said, how like heavy was that moment? Cause you was killing, and you, you could see everybody like stop that a hope when that shit came out. So, like, dealing with that in the university different than dealing with that in the high school, cause you know, that's administrative stuff, but you on campus, you got to see it, hear it. And now, like, y'all going through that, like, like you said, the issues you was going through, you know what I'm saying, internally with the team going through the tournament, you like, all right, now I got to look focused. Now you like shit. I love college, but I know I'm about to go to the league. So now I got to kind of think about me more than the team. Like, how is that mental process? 
Well, it was a lot mentally because, I mean, fuck, as soon as Samson got fired, the next day at practice, I see four motherfuckers in the gym. And it was, it was just weird because I wanted to win. I still wanted to win, but it was just such – everybody was distraught because, you know – I mean, that team was just so talented and mm -hmm. we were so into with that coach, I mean, with Samson. And uh, I mean, it just kind of broke us apart. But me mentally, I mean, I still had to, I mean, I still had to do what I had to do as far as trying to get to the league. I mean, yes, sir. I even fractured my wrist uh, during the, uh, during practice one day. I mean, we go to the doctor, doctor say, oh man, you fractured your wrist, you're gonna, you're gonna be out for a little while. And after that doctor's apartment, my dad said, Fuck that. We <laughs> taping that shit up and we still playing. Out the game. And and we had to play. I'll never forget we play had to play against Wisconsin like two days later with a fractured wrist. So Damn. Yeah, I went That's through a lot of education, my boy. Yeah, locked yeah. in. Man, Pops down there, Joe Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought Mr. Teague was. <laughs> my pop is Joe Jackson. Damn. <laughs> That nigga said it all going up. <laughs> hey, you know what's crazy? Both, they, they went to the league. Shout out to Pop. Shit paid like, off. Somewhere. The blueprint. For sure. Hell yeah. But obviously, you know what I'm saying? Then you go to the. How was your draft process? You know what I'm saying? Did you, you know, obviously, you know, it's projected lottery. You go through a tumultuous situation at IU. Now you're going to the league. How was that? No, I mean, getting drafted was, I mean, that was a great experience. And uh, my rookie year, I mean, that was. My boy went to LA. Yeah, that was. Hell of a city to get drafted to. Yeah, that was a unique experience. Uh, Cause that was actually the first time. I mean, my first ten to twelve games. I mean, I'm over. I'm only. I'm over here averaging five minutes a game, and yeah. we were losing. And I was like, like, <laughs> what, what are we doing here? You know. So. Uh, you were so there. Kids got it good today. I mean, you could be these young kids now. The, the guys that get drafted. I mean, they get the keys handed to them from day one. Yeah. Because right? uh, I think everybody in my draft. Only D, D Rose was the only one that started, and everybody else had to work their way to to starting and figuring out their way throughout that throughout that year. That's crazy. Once they gave you the keys, though, nigga, it was up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no, yeah. you it's started the night. Yeah, they easy. It's Doing what he do best. What what was that changing point though? Like what game? You remember what game or what happened between you and the coaching staff? Like what? Was like all right, give Eric the ball now. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, there was. I mean, there was a lot that got into it. I remember I got in trouble a little bit with the team, and yeah. um, but things just turned out for me because you know a lot of guys were injured. I think Baron Davis was injured and all that, and then uh, then I got the start. A lot of guys got injured, so I got my start. I'll never forget it was against New Orleans against CP3, and uh, <clears throat> next thing you know, we won like three, four games in a row, even though we still. Went like twenty and sixty two. <laughs> yeah, I was trying. Yeah, we was still getting our ass beat, but uh, but that's kind of solidified in you know my career, and I, you know, I, I did well, and I started to find my way and be myself. That's why I figured like that helped your confidence out a lot in the NBA. Like, damn, I'm averaging twenty in the league. We losing. I want to win, but. Shit, I'm killing. Getting my yeah. shit off. <laughs> I remember how strong this motherfucker was when he came back after his rookie season. He was working out with Chris. We was over there at Best Choice. Best, yeah. And he called me up there. I was getting ready Shout for the draft. Chris. And I came up there and I looked. I said, what the fuck? I was like, nah, duh. <laughs> Chris was like, you got to get bigger, man. I'm like, shit. This <laughs> nigga <laughs> look like The Rock. What the fuck I'm going to do with that? He like, well, that's what the guards look like, man. Damn. Said, nah, I ain't going to make it, G. <laughs> nigga, nah, man. You sound like be here when Gordon came back. After his freshman year. I swear to God, Gordon Hayward, I, I love you. You know, you my one of my guys. He was on that shit. <laughs> Don't do that. Ain't nobody <laughs> tell me retired. different. My boy just retired so we can speak that. <laughs> my boy wanted to jump. My boy had that vein in his neck. <laughs> man, crazy. Yeah, I was nah, coming back was. too swollen. Nah, Gordon came out the campus big. I said, damn. Yeah, because he was skinny. He yeah. was skinny his whole life. Like, yeah, shut up. he got to the... Damn near what the league or is like his last year at Butler? Yeah, last year. His last year at Butler last was year different. Because I remember like I was on campus at the time and I was like, all right, but when he came back there, like, oh, that that's a pro. But even when he came back that first year from the Jazz, I'm like, damn, like you get a growth spurt at 22? Did yeah. that slow you down though, getting bigger, or did that you feel like that helped you? No, nah, it, it it helped me because my game was all about contact. Every time I get to the basket, I'm I'm all, I was looking for it. Yeah. So, you know, because I believe in every time I look for contact, I don't even really have to be Sometimes I don't have to feel like I have to be explosive getting to the rim. So, okay. 
Yeah. They're using the science, they're using the, the vet tricks, learning how to score professionally. It's crazy. Yeah. I never really put two and two together. Now you was on the Donald Sterling Clippers team. That is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. That's no wonder why there was a lot of issues. Did you there. go to the white party? <laughs> I uh, am. Yeah. Three years. Three years of it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the white nigga shit in the Raptors. <laughs> they said he had a white party on the show. I just wanted to see if it was true. Oh, damn, that's crazy. Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. But like you said, one of your best games against New Orleans, you didn't know you was auditioning, you know what I'm saying? Do you go to he <laughs> like he shaking his head? My boy had to leave Sunny LA from New Orleans, man. How was that transition? Your first taste of the basketball oh, business? Man, I was I'm not gonna lie, I was pissed. I was pissed. Because during that time people forget I was supposed to sign a like a max deal with, with LA, like mm -hmm. right then and there. And then uh, that's when we had the the lockout. Yeah, yeah. And once we got back from there, I mean, I was I, they were promised like you're gonna be here for five years, this and that, mm -hmm. because the, the the trade was done. I mean, it was supposed to be I think uh, Bledsoe came in yep. and uh, Alpha Alpha Root. Yeah, you know, yeah. and um, and then th we thought that then once they backed out of it, I guess David Stern might have probably went to the gym and and they just threw me in there and. The rest was history, and I, you know, I was a little bit confused, and I was younger too. So, and then when I got to New Orleans, like I wanted to do well, but I had already got injured. I was already mm -hmm. injured, and you know, people down there they just thought I just didn't give a damn or anything while I was down there. But, but, uh, but yeah. hey, a couple of years ago when I got to New Orleans, we went to the playoffs, and I don't know what people be getting mad for down there. Like that's a lot to ask for down there. Be be grateful. Nah, well, New Orleans is a cool city, though. It, it is. It is a cool city. But, nah, going from L.A. to New Orleans is like me going from Atlanta. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I, still you live, say I still live here. <laughs> <laughs> we about to say it. See, it's tall right there and how you really I feel. I still live here. Nah, it is, though. It's like Atlanta to it back home is crazy. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah, it's I, a different toll. Yeah, like. It's like, oh, man. I mean, being from here made it a little easier, but. The way of life is way different. For sure. I got to ask, you done played a couple of dope cities. Uh, what's your favorite city you played in so far? I would say Houston and LA. Those okay. are my. Houston's yeah. a fire Houston, city. Yeah, Houston and LA, top two. Hey, you was a part of one of the coldest runs in basketball in Houston. Like, you know what I'm saying? How was that? You know what I'm saying? Contending every year in the West, and y'all had to go against one of the best teams ever, man. Yeah, man. That was definitely the most fun team I've been on. And, uh, you know, we were together all the time, you know. It was, I mean, it was easy to win. Like, it was very easy to win. We just hoop, our coach. I mean, he was a big part of it, Dan. Tony was a big part of it. I mean, he let us be us. We followed, you know, his scheme. But at the end of the day, you know, he he just let us be us. And it, he made it fun. You know, his experience made it fun. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, fuck, we had a hell of a team. James was... I mean, being around him, working with him every every day, a special player. But we had a lot of other guys that, would, I mean, it was. No, y'all had a squad. No, we yeah. did have a squad for years. Y'all had a squad, bro. What was that like, like embracing that six-man role, like coming from being a starter and then going to being like a six-man and then like embracing the role and then like really, really flourishing in it, though? Yeah, because during my time in New Orleans, you know, I was like, I'm I'm gonna go to after I left there. I was like I'm gonna go to a team where I just want to win and I'll figure out the rest. Like mm -hmm. I'm just gonna figure it out. I'm not gonna be injured. I'm gonna figure out ways that I can be injured and just go out there and play. And uh, I didn't care what if I started or not. But as soon as I got there, I was like they gave me a uh, you know a formula to to what I needed to do. You know they didn't care if I ever practiced. They was like we just want you to be healthy to. No, that's love. And uh, you know. Great training staff, good, you know, medical staff and everything. And uh, but after that, I was I, I, I just embraced it. I think I was like, I don't care. I'm going to win six men in a year. I want to, you know, knocking out, knock down a lot of threes during D'Antoni's right. play. Because you know how that that yeah. it was difficult to guard us. For sure. so. Hell yeah. And that was perfect for the way you play basketball. Like, oh, no, lay, just layups and threes. Like yeah. one of the best shooters ever. Of course he can do that. Yeah, yeah. See, everybody, the funny thing is everybody wants to talk about doing that, but you got to still be able to, you know, move the ball. Yep. You know, if you don't have a clear cut uh, layup or whatnot, then somebody else has to be open. So, but it, it was, 
That's yeah. good basketball. No, nah, y'all was tough to play. We played y'all in the playoffs. <laughs> they get your ass like that? Sweet. Get us out of there. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got one game, didn't you? Minnesota? Oh, yeah, I cooked that game. You're right. We didn't get one oh, game. Oh, this nigga. Like, yeah, 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 I didn't get one game. I cooked that game. I'm thinking up. for a minute. I'm like, well, at least y'all got one. Yeah, actually. They got us up out of there, got though. Got I had one good game. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, listen. You know, so I know we can't talk about James Harden too much in this podcast. Y'all be getting away, but we're not going to let that legacy die down. You saw it firsthand. Like, James Harden was really killing it. Everybody tried to act like that did not happen. It's weird. That that he wasn't killing? Yeah, they try to they try to downplay that now. Like, it was just okay because of the Lucas stuff. I'm like, no, James Harden was really destroying shit. If, he, if y'all didn't run into the Warriors, it's a different conversation. And even some of the stuff that happened with, like... CP don't pull his hamstring. Y'all win that series. For sure. Yeah, no, I truly believe same, if CP didn't get injured, we would have we would have won that year. I really do. I think so. Won the championship. Yeah, they had on beat. Yeah. For sure. I, I would. Mm. Y'all was up, what, 3-2? Three, 3-2. Two? Three, two. Yep. Yeah. Y'all, mm. You don't think they get in Cleveland? I uh, respect the respect the pop. Uh, they was going <laughs> to beat whoever was in the East. I don't even know. They was scoring too much. It had to be Cleveland then, right? It was. Yeah, 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 it was they had to be yeah. gonna be whoever was in the East. Yeah. Ooh, that might have been tough. That would have been a hell of a series, though. That would have been a hell of a series. That's what had me hold on. But you know, Yeah, yeah I was right. definitely supposed to come out the West that year. Who was the best player you played with in your career so far in 17 years? Best teammate? Nah, best player. Then you can do best teammate. Damn. The best player. That I ever played against. Play with. Play with. Ooh. Throw you on the bus right now. I love it. That's a tough one, boy. Yeah, because you've been around some killers, you bro. You some shit. That's why I'm asking you. And what's crazy is now you about to play with another GOAT coming this season this year. <laughs> Joel. Yeah, you got MVP Joel. Yeah. Uh, he ain't played with I'm Joel, not going to lie. KD yeah. was a special one and James was, was a mm-hmm. special one. Because, I mean, I played with AD. AD was. Yeah, bro. Young AD was. Man. Yeah. Young AD, he was a. Well, he was coming into his own. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that just KD. I'll let you come back to it. <laughs> it's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, you better, you, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I forgot about the Phoenix squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KD cold. Boy. One of the best still going to a crazy. <clears throat> Man. That's a tough question for him. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we got to ask it though. People want to know how, you know what I'm saying? Now, let's talk about now, man. You know what I'm saying? New season coming up. Got you where you at right now? You in Philly with it? Yeah. How you, you know what I'm saying? How did you come about that situation? You know what I'm saying? Um... Well, I want to get a chance to win, and uh, I thought, you know, Philly, because, you know, I'm familiar with their uh, front office, Daryl Morey and all them, and then I look at their team, and I'm like, man, Maxi, he's, he's on, really Philly. evolved. And be, you know, MVP dominant status. player. You know, you look at Kelly Oubre, and, and now they have Caleb Martin, and then you got PG that just in the mix with all of that, and I'm like – and you know me to to fit in you know to be sh- knocked down shots and shooting you know create you know as those guys are creating so i was like man we can really have some a shot at something facts i for sure you know what i'm saying i go crazy shit i don't know if y'all gonna beat the pacers but you know what i'm saying i feel like <laughs> hey, i can go contend the issue <laughs> hey hey EJ, why you ain't never come home bro and while we here why you ain't come fuck with the pacers man man i don't think there's really ever been a, a real shot and chance thing <laughs> <laughs> he said he wanted to win yeah <laughs> I like that. That was a good answer. EJ, but I'm answering it's... for you. You didn't want to come to the play with two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, but was hey, crazy. Was I like that. Crazy. He'll fit this team perfect. Oh. Now, I mean, you and Philly, you fit that team perfect too, but oh, yeah. the way you shoot the ball, but people always uh, forget that you're a really good defender. Yeah. Like, this nigga is strong as shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, you can't post. Him and Chris Paul and Eric Bless are the only guards you can't post. I used to watch and people Drew. try to post them. Oh, yeah, and Drew. But it's just like, I'm like, this nigga is strong as shit. <laughs> like, I watch people. I watch him guard Cat. <laughs> Cat was trying to post him. You got a lot of smut on Cat's name, bro. I know. I love Cat. <laughs> I love Cat. But what he trying to post y'all? Yeah. And he couldn't post everything. him. And he said, we switched everything. We switched everything. So. And he couldn't post him. I swear. What's crazy right, is like he being modest. But your two guards should be switching your five comfortably. That's nuts. They were strong, man. Him and PJ, James, strong as shit. Yeah. They had a strong ass team. That's a good thing to highlight, though, because people don't talk about how good of a defender you yeah, are. Yeah, they, they focus in on you shooting, though. But I, I think the six. I ain't saying because you here. I just think y'all got a good chance to move forward, though. They do this year. Y'all got a way better team than y'all had over the recent years, man. Yeah, for sure. 
Don't worry, the Pacers ain't shit. That's just that's fucked that's up. Nah, we good, man. He know what like, he just know Tom Brady. <laughs> they got, he got to the team, bro. They gonna make the playoffs for sure. Yeah. The playoff play in. Nah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't do that. <laughs> Y'all know how I'm, I'm rocking. <laughs> no, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what team are you supporting yeah. today? <laughs> we know the Hawks. They gonna be in here. Nah, with us. You know how we rock. The Hawks. Trey, Trey on this demon time now. I talked to him the other day. He back. Say you on that. Oh, man. Yeah, anybody get traded. That's what that sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> anybody get yeah, anybody get <laughs> free trade, y'all. <laughs> they about to treat them 11 jerseys like them Julius Randle jerseys. Oh, shit. Nah, they, nah. These, these top heavy now, bro. Yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. These top heavy we, now. We are. So. We, we under the radar. It's cool. Just have. Yeah. Oh, y'all for we sure. We under. under. <laughs> Hey, put, put that put that on top board, coach. <laughs> My nigga EJ say he going out in Atlanta. It's easy money when they go stop. He might act like Kawhi Litter when they play the Hogs. True <laughs> clip. <laughs> DMP. <laughs> Cut off T. <laughs> Straight up. Oh, y'all crazy. Oh, man. Well, listen, I know you got a hard out. EJ, we appreciate you sliding on this big dog, man. Listen. Legend in the city. I for love sure. it every time we talk about basketball, especially when it comes to high school basketball. It's always praise for you, man. We've been excited for this episode. This is one for the city. Y'all had classic battles, man. We appreciate you sliding on you, man. Good luck this year. You know what I'm saying? Except when we pay the Pacers. Good luck this year, man. We <laughs> yeah. appreciate y'all rocking with us. Like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. We'll be back next time. Club 520.